Chief of Staff has been granted a temporary restraining order against New Orleans City Council, which planned to hold him in contempt next week. A council says the order delays the inevitable as they continue to look into ethics concerns surrounding the defunct Smart Cities program. Well, Devin Bartolotta, she was inside of that courtroom today and joins us to explain what this all means, Devin. Yeah, Sharice, this ruling essentially freezes any action by the city council to hold Cantrell's chief of staff, Clifton Davis III, and other officials in contempt of council for not giving up the documents council asked for. But this is far from over. You have an administration that believes they are not accountable to anyone but themselves. It's another step in the standoff between the city council and mayor's office. Latoya Cantrell's chief of staff, Clifton Davis III, was granted a temporary restraining order against city council by Judge Nicole Shepard. It will buy the mayor's office more time as the city council digs into the abandoned smart cities project with suspicions of contract fixing. Because of a lack of information, because of secrecy around this project, and because of a lack of transparency that at the end of the day is really a plague within some departments within City Hall. Two investigations are rolling at the same time. So far, we know the Office of the Inspector General has seized computers and cell phones of Jonathan Rhodes and Christopher Wolf, as well as several members of the mayor's staff. City Council has interviewed Jonathan Rhodes roads and subpoenaed several staffers in the mayor's office for any and all documents relating to smart cities and its vendors. The mayor's office that says it's fully cooperating with the OIG, necessary. but responding to council's request would be a repetitive waste of resources. Council says, though, it's asking for more information than the OIG, and they claim the mayor's office hired an outside law firm because the city attorney took council's side. When they couldn't get the response out of the city attorney they liked, they took taxpayer dollars to illegally hire a firm that would say what they wanted to hear. The mayor's office is calling the investigation dirty politics, writing in a statement, quote, the city council has overstepped its ethical bounds by orchestrating an inquiry that is duplicative, superfluous, and firmly rooted in politics. Now, this ruling doesn't make any decision on whether the mayor's office will have to comply with council's request. It just means that council can't hold staffers in contempt like all seven, seven council members plan to do at next Thursday's meeting, guys. I mean, Devin, it sort of begs the question, how long is this restraining order going to be in effect? Yeah, well, so far there is another hearing scheduled for next week, June 8th, and we will see what happens then.